So the data or the data collection is often an invisible part of this pyramid where at the top you have the energy planning and all these international high level targets but what is not visible is that all these are based on the data so your indicators and planning can only be as good as the data underlying all this and it's it's impossible to plan something and to make some solution without proper uh, da uh, data and without comprehensive approach and now when we are thinking about recovery and about how we can manage current situation that data is very important just to make this proper estimation and to make proper plans uh, for further steps so data is very important for us uh, and the quality of data depends not only on the quantity of data which you get but also on the quality of your interpretation as well. Yes there's a cost of, of collecting information there always there's a financial cost and, and you need stuff to do that but at the, at the same time the cost of not having the information is is I would say always higher because if you do not have that information how can you make the most uh, cost-efficient decision with regard to, to a, a policy. We need to uh, know the data householders, what are they using for making food. For example, we know that they have access to electricity, but we know that they are not using electricity, part of them, because they cannot pay for electricity and therefore they use uh, other sources and we want to know how to improve their livings and how can we promote using of renewable energy in rural parts. We created new jobs places. Thanks to this project, we created a new market for the biomass in the Republic of Moldova. Ну, без качественных данных, без данных невозможно делать, потому что всегда данные. So ultimately, yes, you, uh, the beneficiary is the country, its economy, its uh, population, but you do not have this direct connection immediately. It takes time, but it is lasting and sustainable. And if you want to attempt a conscious, uh, well-planned long-term policy, you need to have good data. The quality of the energy information at the bottom directly translates to the quality of the derived information, which translates to something that a person in the country sees in their daily life. Obviously, it's a long, long, and not always a direct chain, but that to me is why we're doing what we're doing.